Hi everyone, my name is Angelica and I'm a wedding and event planner with Anella Events. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited to begin YouTube for my business and can't wait to share some tips and advice for your upcoming wedding and events. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below on any videos you want me to do in the future. This video is for all the engaged couples who have a wedding coming up. Or if you're a wedding vendor, these tips are perfect for your clients on what they can do for their wedding planning during quarantine. So let's get started. Starting with number one, this is the perfect time to get organized with your wedding planning. And what I mean about getting organized is organizing your wedding planning binder, your Pinterest board, and your wedding decor. If you don't have a wedding binder, I highly suggest checking Etsy because they have the cutest binders for brides, plus you can customize it with your future last name. You can organize your Pinterest board by creating folders for your ceremony and reception decor, your dessert and welcome table, and so much more. Lastly, I suggest organizing your personal wedding items by purchasing storage bins and creating a checklist of what will be placed in each bin. This will be super helpful for your wedding planner to know what belongs to you and what belongs to a wedding rental vendor. Plus, this is a great peace of mind for you as well once everything is in place. Second is do-it-yourself decorations. If you are wanting to save a bit more money on your wedding decorations, DIY decor is the perfect route for you. Plus, with everything you create, it makes it a bit more special. Some ideas that I did for my wedding day was I purchased a Cricut machine and found some inspiration on Pinterest and started creating my own bridal gifts, vow booklets, personalized letters, and signages. You can also DIY your own centerpieces or name place cards and so much more. Just be creative and have fun with it. Next is to be inspired. You must have already settled on your timeline and your decoration ideas, but it is never too late to add in a few ideas on your timeline and on your decoration list. For example, if you too love to travel, you can maybe purchase a globe for your wedding guest book, or maybe if you want your guests to know a bit more about the both of you, you can add a fun trendy shoe game on your timeline. This is the perfect time to sit down with your fiance and dream up some fun ideas for your wedding day. Fourth, you can begin your wedding website if you haven't already created one. This is perfect for your guests to learn more about the two of you, how you two got engaged, your bridal party, wedding venue and time, hotel and travel accommodations, and your wedding registry. You can even place your wedding link on your invitations for your guests to view anytime before your wedding date. A few wedding websites I suggest is checking IO Planner, The Knot, or Zola, but also there's amazing websites out there that you can use. Going on to number five, I highly suggest reaching out to your favorite vendors to see if they are available for your wedding date. As wedding vendors, this would truly mean so much to us, especially during this time. Plus, a few of us have time in our hands to answer any questions you have about our wedding collections. If all of your wedding vendors are booked, there is no harm in reaching out to your booked vendors to maybe gain some wedding advice or any tips they may have for you. Remember, we are here rooting for you and here to assist you in any way we can. Number six is virtual dance lessons. If you two want to do a waltz for your first dance or a cha-cha, whatever it is, there are many dance tutorials out there and you can make it your very own. There may be a dance tutorial for your first dance song that you already chose. Or if you want to do a surprise dance number for your guests, this is the perfect time to think of a fun dance idea with your soon-to-be husband or wife. You can even start thinking about a special dance with your father and daughter dance, your mother and son dance, or maybe a flash mob with your bridal party number seven is getting a head start on writing your vows and your personalized cards you can make a draft of what you want to say in your vows and maybe finalize it during your wedding week then write it into a preferred vow booklet with personalized cards you can also get a head start on writing cards for your parents future mother and father-in-law and your bridal party you can even write special cards to your wedding vendors. Trust me, this will save so much time because you may have other last minute wedding prep during your wedding week.
Going on to number eight, you can begin in creating your music wedding playlist. I would first reach out to your DJ because they might have a playlist portal for you to add music from. Or you can log into your Spotify account and create folders for your wedding playlist. For example, for my wedding day, I created four playlists and titled each of them by ceremony, cocktail, reception dinner, and lastly, our dancing playlist. I had so much fun creating my wedding playlist, and plus, this is the perfect date night idea for you two to do at home. Number nine is beginning your wedding registry if you have not done so yet. I love how wedding registries are online and super easy for you to add your favorite items into your cart or even adjust the items you previously placed into your wedding cart. Once your wedding registry is complete, you can simply merge that link onto your wedding website for your guests to view in the future. Last but not least, number 10. Get excited for your wedding day. I know we are all in uncertain times, but this day is a once in a lifetime experience for you and your fiance. These wedding planning tips and advice is perfect for the both of you to get excited and to look forward to your special day. Again, reach out to your family, your friends, and your bridal party. Most importantly, reach out to your wedding vendors because we would not only appreciate it, but we would love to assist you in any way we can. Remember, we are always here rooting for you. All right, guys, those are 10 wedding planning tips that you can do at home during quarantine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my social media accounts at Anella Events. And I'll see you in my next video. Happy planning, guys. Bye.